Today we're going to be introing uh, After Effects. Uh, After Effects is a fairly new program for me, but I wanted to learn it so we could learn how to animate our characters for our story. Um, today in this lesson, we're going to take a panda bear and make him grab an accessory that he is wearing. And also the sun is going to be rise and then turn blue. Uh, first, let's give us a brief background on uh, the setup of After Effects. First of all, on the left side, this is where all your files are. For example, in iMovie, you know this is called a what? Whenever you uh, have an um, event, they're called an event library, and this is where you can keep your files. So After Effects has uh, events. And again, um, After Effects is kind of like taking like Premiere or a movie uh, making software with like a Photoshop or il uh, Illustrator and then combining it with Flash. It's like those three combined. And then you get a souped up version of a program called After Effects. So on the left side is where you import files. If you hit Command I, you can import your file, but we'll do that later. In the middle is like your workspace. And notice you can use the middle scroller to like uh, decrease and increase your workspace. Um, you also have these options down here you can uh, go through. Um, there's this preview mode so um, if you want to preview a certain section you see this area you can select like a certain area. The grayed out section means you're going to preview that so it's going to skip the first six seconds and so if you want to preview it you just hit play. If you don't have this preview button just go to uh, window preview or command 3 um, here's your information if you want to know the colors that are happening. And um, here's your special effects if you want to do like um, some motion effects or um, blending. On the bottom left is kind of like, remember in Photoshop or Illustrator you have your layers section? This is kind of like what that is in uh, After Effects. It has a lot of the information and layers. So. We import the file with a bunch of layers, and we choose the layers we want, and we drag them down into our uh, what it's called is called composition. Now you can have many, many compositions. If you want a new composition, uh, Command N is new composition, and then we can call this like background two. And then notice here's a, a new tab for our composition. So when you make a story for your project, you'll be having many, many compositions, but one After Effects file, okay? So it'll be very manageable. And uh, yeah, oh, you remember this arrow? It's the V, the selection tool. You can also have the hand tool and um, other tools that I'll be getting into later, but those are the basics. And of course, this is your timeline of the movie that you're watching when you have effects, okay? So this is what we're gonna be doing today is uh, making an effect. Now, first of all, we're gonna go into Illustrator, okay? Go into Illustrator, and let's start with our background layer. So go ahead and open up the, it's called Lake Background. It should look like this. And if you don't have the file, just go to mouseup.com, courses, uh, computer applications, applications, After Effects, basic tutorial, hit download, uh, the file right there. So first of all, um, you can ignore this stuff. Whatever is outside of this black area is will be ignored. Okay, now in After Effects, in order to make something move, it has to be in its own layer. Because how does After Effects know to move a certain thing? If you try to move this whole background, it'll move the whole background and not the sun. So what we need to do is cut the sun out and make it a new layer. So right now it's in the background layer. So what we're going to do is hit Command X and that cuts it out. And then you're going to hit New Layer. And we're going to call this layer Sun. Now it's very, very important that you name, you take the time and name all your layers because uh, as you know, in After Effects, you'll have a long list of layers and you won't know what they are except by the name. So Now, uh, Command-V, paste it, but that's no good. That's not the right spot. 
what we need to hit is command F, F as in frog, and it will paste it exactly in the same location. Okay? Now notice what needs to go in front of the sun. Yeah, the mountain. So let's go ahead, command X, cut those out, make a new layer, call those mountains. Command V, or sorry, command F to paste that in. Move the mountains in front of the sun. And there we go. So now we have our background. Uh, go ahead and hit uh, Shift O. Shift O is crop. And just go ahead and place a box around your, um, a square around the print area. This is how you crop. And then we're going to go File, Save As. And we're going to call this leg background, we'll call this uh, layers, because they're in layers now. Okay, so now we have our background layer ready to go. Now let's prepare our, our panda layer. Okay, so you should also have a panda layer, and you should have added an accessory for him. Um, make sure that the accessory, whether it's a hat or a bow tie, that his arm will be able to grab it. Okay, so this crown he'll be able to grab, or like a bow tie he would be able to grab. Make sure the crown is a new layer. And so notice all these layers that I made for the character. This is what you're going to have to do, uh, is make... I mean, it is tedious, but it will show later, later on that it's very valuable. Go ahead and for layer one, call this body, because layer you should never just leave a, a layer that's unnamed. So call that body. And there we go. So um, Notice it's in landscape mode. Portrait would be a better way to do this. So go to File, Document, Setup and go to portrait view. Now this doesn't have to be like video 720 by 480 because it's only a character. We're going to be putting in this character uh, into our our video. If it was a background then yes it would need, need to be those dimensions but since it's not it's okay. So Okay so go ahead and go to file Save as, we're going to call this Panda Layers. And save it to your desktop. And now we can go into our After Effects and start the good stuff. 